Rutherford County business goes up in flames overnight. Officials say the fire started early this morning on South Walnut and West Castle Streets at Eubanks Electric. We're told the fire marshal is investigating, but still no word on what caused that blaze. A funeral home in Springfield will be donating their services to the four children who were killed in a house fire early Monday morning. A seven-year-old, four-year-old, and two-year-old twins died in the blaze. Visitation and the funeral services will take place on Saturday. An eight-year-old and the children's father are still in the hospital. The cause of that fire remains under investigation. A man is stabbed during an argument at a Hero restaurant. Police tell us it happened on Murfreesboro Pike in South Nashville. Two men were arguing about a Facebook message when one of them pulled out a knife and stabbed the other. That victim has minor injuries, but the guy who did it is on the run. Police say he's an Egyptian man who weighs about 185 pounds, wearing a red jacket and fled in a white van. If you know anything about the incident, give police a call. President Obama will address the press before heading out to Hawaii for his annual Christmas vacation with the first family. The president normally takes questions on a wide range of topics, but one question he's sure to face is his view on the Russian hacking of Democratic email servers. News Channel 5 and CBS will carry that speech live, which is scheduled for 1.15 this afternoon. And what do you say we end up on a happy note as we head into a busy weekend? One of the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters took his tricks of the trade to St. Vincent Hospital in Green Bay to brighten some kids' days. Buckets Blakes has been a Globetrotter for 15 years and says he loves coming to the hospitals to perform and do whatever he can to lift the spirits of the children and their parents in the hospital. Whether spinning the basketball, signing a cast, or just telling stories, Bucket says it's all worth it to brighten their day. Now that's the Christmas.